and risking the pain, not risking it, you're going to have it. And there's no risk of it. Stepping into the pain, stepping into the failure, stepping into the uncertainty allows you to experience more from life. I'm Chastity, and this video's topic is about media mentors. Today, I want to share with you a mentor in the media that I have come across, Brene Brown. Oh, she is so huge. Um, I came across her video years ago, The Power of Vulnerability. It's a TED Talk on YouTube. Definitely go check it out. Um, since then, I've definitely been a huge Brene Brown fan. She is amazing. Um, she talks about being a shame researcher, but also a storyteller. And that, it, she's so gifted, y'all, at telling stories. Um, to teach lessons, to explain to you different things she wants to share. She uses some powerful stories to get to that message, some goosebump stories, you know what I mean? Um, on In the Power of Vulnerability, which is the first video that went viral for her that I know about and where I first came across her, what really stood out to me in that video is when she talked about selectively numbing our feelings. Um, that we all have these kind of, like, you know, um, interesting, quirky ways of wanting to numb our feelings, right? With TV, with food, with sex, with shopping and spending. Um, but what we don't realize is that in trying to numb our feelings, our bad feelings, um, the anger, worry, resentments, um, fears, we are actually, she talks about actually numbing all of our feelings that we really cannot selectively numb only the bad feelings that we have. That when we do that, we also numb our joy, we numb our love, we numb our connection, we love our hope. Um, so for me, that was just huge in understanding that, just that simple concept um, or that one idea stands out to me the most in her first video. She's also gone on to do, you know, she's written multiple bestsellers, um, she has audiobooks, she has podcasts, she has interviews, um, she has tons of videos on YouTube. Go and check her out for sure. She also has most recently um, that I love this Call to Courage Netflix special where she talks about um, her life a little bit more deeply. Um, she shares stories to teach us more about vulnerability. My biggest takeaway from that was how she talks about when we be vulnerable with our life when we be brave with our life, if we're starting a new business, if we're starting a new relationship or opening ourselves up to a relationship, if we are having a child, right? Becoming new parents. If we are moving, anything that we do where we are vulnerable and we be brave with our life, that we're gonna experience pain, right? We're gonna experience failure in starting a new business. We're gonna experience some pain in opening up our heart again to new relationships. And what she says is without allowing ourselves to feel that pain, we, got, we accept that pain because we get to experience the wins of that experience also. I mean, of that vulnerability, of that braveness. Because we're trying, we get to experience victories. We get to know what it's like to win. We get to know what it's like to love. We get to know what it's like to have that joy and that proudness of doing what we wanted to do and what we visioned ourselves doing. And for me, I feel like that is just so huge, you know, um, to know that both things exist, that the good feelings that we want, the desired feelings, but also the pain and the fear feelings that it makes the experience what it is. And risking the pain, not risking it, you're gonna have it. And there's no risk of it stepping into the pain, stepping into the failure, stepping into the uncertainty allows you to experience more from life, which is, I think, such a huge, such a huge takeaway. Um, oh my, another thing that I love that she says is she talks about owning our story and loving ourselves through that process of owning our own story is one of the bravest things that we'll do. And Oh my gosh, I love working on this with my clients. I lo have loved working on this with myself that like owning my life, owning my story, owning who I am and loving myself through that process 
even on times when it was hard, girl, you know, it was not easy, um, has been such an amazing experience, you know, has allowed me to experience, has allowed me to feel feelings I never even thought were possible. And so I just wanted to share that quote with you guys, like own your story. If you want to learn more about or see more about Brene Brown's work, um, please go check her out. If you want to spark this inspiration of loving yourself, if you want to spark this inspiration of being vulnerable, of being brave with your life, of taking some risks, of making some moves that you might have been holding back on, you know, because you're afraid, um, definitely go check out some of her work. It has really inspired me and it could do the same for you. So thanks.